It's me again, Uncle John John. I'm here to read to you a spooky bedtime story. No, don't worry, don't worry. It's not too spooky. I don't think it's too spooky. No, 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 no. But, but, I am reading more stories from this book and Fanny's nursery picture book. Ooh. Mm. Spooky Halloween. But fun spooky. It's kind of cool spooky. Right? It's, it's okay. It's kind of spooky. It's okay. It's all right. Right? And we're, we're going to read more uh, stories from this book about the gold frog and his friend, the gold goose, walking through a dark forest. I think. But, but it's okay. You know, the gold goose is, is really, really shiny, so it's not too dark in the forest. Anyway, let's find out uh, what's happening in this story. So what story are we going to read? Oh, the frog who would a woo mean go. So actually, what this story is, it's the frog who a go. That's what he's doing. He's making a noise. a go. He's a go. That's what he's doing. Hey, I wonder if we're going to read about the, the gold frog in the, in the forest. Finally, we get to meet him. Finally, we get to meet the, the gold, the gold dude and his friend, the gold goose. Yeah. Okay, let's find out what happens next. So, so, oh, so there we go. We get to meet the, 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 the gold dude, the gold frog dude. And, uh, you know, I don't know what it is with, with these stories that I read, where we got these animals that are really, really big animals, and they wear people clothes. You know, they're doing people things. And not just people things, but also kind of wearing old timey clothes. Um, but that's all right. This guy, this cat's all right. He's uh, he's just kind of walking, walking through the forest, and and he's I don't know what he, what is he? Um, it must be kind of cold because he's he's wearing a jacket. He's wearing a jacket. Um, and honestly, you know, I don't think it is the same gold dude. I think. I wonder if this is a fish. I think it's a fish. It looks more like a fish, but I don't know. Fish don't have feet. But maybe it's a frog. Maybe it's a frog. I don't know. It's hard to tell. This picture's not very good. But it, but it's a cool, it's a cool dude because it's wearing cool, cool dude clothes, you know. And um, I don't know what he's holding. Is that a hat? I don't know. Is that a hat? Maybe it's a hat. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. So. So he's kind of he's kind of walking along, he's chilling, and, he, and he's just kind of walking along. And um, I don't know, maybe he's just kind of like cruising the neighborhood and seeing who's around, you know, and seeing who's around, you know. But uh, this is this is when a time when when it's okay to do that. It's pretty safe to do that. Nobody really nobody really worried about walking around and getting into trouble, especially if you're wearing old timey clothes, you know. And. Uh, and, and there, and there, he's walking along, and he, and he meets his buddy, who's a rat. So I'm beginning to think. I'm beginning to think here. Okay, something happened. Something happened. He's like, he's like a regular dude, and he's walking along, wearing his old timey clothes, and suddenly, something weird happened, you know? And he became a frog. He became a frog. But but he's like, like a person. He's a person frog. He's a person frog. Is what he is. Kind of walking along, and he comes across his buddy. He's like, "Hey, I remember you. I recognize you in your in your old timey clothes." And I think that's a Hawaiian shirt. I think he's wearing like a, a Hawaiian shirt. It's like, "Oh, hey, 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 Joey, or Chucky, or Bobby, or whatever. Like some kind of dude that wears a wears a Hawaiian shirt and a, and a cool cowboy hat." But but he's a rat, and he's like, "Hey, 
Joey, Chucky, Bobby, whatever your name is. What the heck? What's going on? What happened to you, man? You're a rat. And, and his friend goes, yeah, but you're a frog. What happened? And they're like, I don't know. I don't know. What happened? I don't know why I'm a frog. And I don't know why I'm a rat. So, I don't know. So, his friend's a rat person, and he's a frog person, but that might be okay, because uh, they're kind of cool. So they said, hey, let's go see our, uh, let's go see our friend, uh, 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 who's, uh, I don't know, um, find out what's going on. Like, our scientist friend, we're going to go see our scientist friend. So that's what they do. They went to see their scientist friend. Uh, okay. Um... This is, uh, problematic, um, here, <laughs> so, yeah, their, um, their scientist friend actually is, uh, uh, she's, she also likes to wear old timey clothes too, and she's kind of into, she's into cosplay, and she likes to make, like, you know, period clothes, and you know what period clothes are? Period clothes are the clothes you wear. If you want to be like in the old, old, old timey days, you know, like old timey days, yeah, yeah, that's what they are doing, and uh, yeah, so that's what they did, and they went to see their friend who's in a cosplay, but who's also a science, science, um, so she's really involved in STEM, is what she is, and uh, so she's working on her costume, on her newest costume, Kind of hard to tell what, what costume it is. Maybe another old timey costume. I don't know. Hard to tell. Ooh. But but they go in and they're like, "Hey, look at you! You're a mouse." And she's like, oh, "Guys, don't don't be weird. I'm not a mouse. I'm into cosplay. That's don't do that to me." And then she looked at them and she's like, "Oh, you guys, his costumes are really great. You really you look like a frog and you." look like a rat and they're like no we are really we were like walking minding our own business and now oh man we're a frog and we're we're a rat and now you're a cat and she's like what and she looked down and she was like oh no i'm a i'm a mouse but you know what you know mouse are, are kind of cool and rats are rats are cool too i like rats and um you know that there are rats that can help people, you know, uh, get away from bombs. Yeah, 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 true story, true story. So, um, the military uses these special, special rats that are really cool. What they can do is they can help find landmines, which are bombs under the ground, like when you're fighting a war. They're really bad. We should never ever use those. Those are really, really, really bad. The problem is, is we used to use them a lot in the past, and we kind of forgot about them. And so people sometimes they get really hurt, and that's not good. So we've got these rats that can find these mines and help people like fix them and make sure that they don't hurt people anymore. These rats are really cool really really cool rats and then there's of course there's this frog who's is a cool frog i don't know if there's any frogs frogs that can like you know help get rid of bombs uh you know i know that you know frogs like to eat mosquitoes mosquitoes are really bad you don't want mosquitoes mosquitoes are not cool you know they're not cool mosquitoes are bad so frogs eat mosquitoes maybe this dude is like oh i can eat mosquitoes i'm gonna help help my town and then his friends could be like yeah i'm gonna go help uh, find bombs and protect people so they, they don't get hurt and their friends like yeah I'm gonna make cool costumes for animal people like us anyway they're like so what are we gonna do I'm like I don't know I don't know well let's go to my house and they're like okay let's go to my house and actually <laughs> I couldn't find a <laughs> I lost some of my pictures so I'm gonna use an old picture from last week yeah sorry about that um, but you know what can you do Anyway, so, so, anyway, uh, if you're listening to the podcast, I'll, I'll describe it. So, so the frog in the old timey clothes, and the rat in the old timey clothes, who's their, their friends, and then their friend, who's a scientist girl, who uh, also is in a cosplay, is wearing old timey clothes too, but she's a mouse now, 
like, I don't know, we don't know how it happened. So they all went to their, to this place that they all hang out, which is a haunted house in the middle of the woods at the end of a long dirt road. Ooh. But actually, it's kind of a cool house, you know, because it's their house that they just tell people it's haunted. They tell it's haunted. There's ghosts in there. Uh, so stay away. But actually, it's, it's not. It's just their place. So what do they do? What do they do? They have like a secret lab in there. I bet they have a secret lab. No, actually, no, not a secret lab. <laughs> it's a band. They have a band. It's a band in there. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, so what the oh, This is so bad. Um, so what they do, what they do is uh, they rock, they rock out. They got their music equipment there. And they rock out in this house that they tell, they tell fools that it's all haunted and everything. And it's not really haunted. They just tell that to keep the kids out. Yeah, stay away, kids. We want to make our rock and roll. You know, wild stallions. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, so, so they're rocking it out and they're making music. And then, um, and then, uh, I don't know. Um, maybe a time machine guy shows up. I don't know, that could happen. But except, no, it's not a time machine guy. It's oh, something. So what happens is they're making so much rock and roll. There's a rival gang of rock and roll kids who, who are like, oh, no way. We're going to come and we're going to have a, 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 a band, uh, a band fight gonna have a dueling band that's what we're gonna do we're gonna bring our rock and roll and we're gonna show them and that's what this this the, this other band showed up at the haunted house but here's the weird thing is the other band they were all cats they became cats and because but they didn't know that they were cats so they had a hard time like moving around like they're trying to move like cats do but they're like we're not cats so they're trying to move around like people do yeah it's kind of it's crazy. Um, yeah. Wow, man. So, so these cats, these cat cats, because I call them cats, because I, I call anybody I don't know cats. Not, and I call people I don't know, but I don't like them. I call them foo. But, I call, but cats, cats are cats. But these were real cats. The, because of the same thing that happened to the frog and, and happened to the rat and then happened to their friend who's now a, 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 a mouse happened to them and it was really kind of it's really kind of crazy so what happened is now these cats are like falling all over their equipment and they're falling all over the band's equipment and they're falling over the the, the musical instruments and the tables and stuff and and then they and then the, the frog and the rat and the mouse band they were like this is god this is such a ridiculous mess so that oh we gotta get out of here because these guys are weirdos so they ran away, and where do they go? They ran away to a haunted forest, and it really was haunted. Really, because it was the middle of the night, and it's almost Halloween, you know? So they all ran into this forest, and they're like, oh, looking where they were going. And they ran in the forest until they came across this creek, and the moonlight was shining down through the tops of the trees. And there weren't very many leaves, so the, the, the trees looked like they were bones in the night sky. And the moon is bright and shining down. And they were on this creek, and the moon is shining up also on this creek. And actually, it's really kind of pretty in a way. It's actually kind of pretty. So it's, it's supposed to be spooky scary. And I told you this was a spooky scary story, but it's actually really not spooky and scary. It's actually, this is actually a really nice picture. And so... Yeah, this really nice picture. So they're sitting there, they're kind of really enjoying this view. Oh, and they're listening to the sound of the creek. I've uh, got the, the water kind of running along. It's very calm and relaxing. Oh, really calm and relaxing. And it, it's kind of making, making their eyes get heavy. You know? So their eyes are getting heavy and it's drooping down. About to close their eyes. Ooh, ooh, yeah, 
about to get get real sleepy now. Are you getting sleepy? I hope you're getting sleepy. I hope, you, I hope your eyes are getting really tired. And I hope, you know, you can hear the sound of the, of the white noise, which is there, because it's supposed to help you get sleepy. And this happy, spooky music, the happy, spooky music, but it's not really spooky, but it's supposed to sound spooky, but it's not really spooky, so don't, don't worry, don't have nightmares. And, but that's not, that's not what this, these friends hear. The friends don't hear the music. You hear the music. But what the friends hear, the friends hear is the creek, the sound of the water running over the rocks, and maybe a little bit of the sound of the wind, but it's not spooky when it's like, ah, oh, that's kind of cool. Very calm and relaxing sound, yeah. Um, and so, but, uh, but somewhere, somewhere uh, in, in this forest, in this dark forest, is a family, and this family's kind of walking along, and you know they found on they're on this road, in this forest. So they're not completely lost, you know. They're on this on this road in the middle of the forest, and they're walking along. But here's the crazy thing about this family. They're pigs, walking like people. They're people pigs, they're doing people things that people do, not what pigs do. And they're walking along. They're like. Oh no! But it's actually kind of cool. It's actually kind of cool, you know, because because uh, they're cool pigs. The pigs actually are kind of cool in a way. Believe it or not, they really they're really smart. So so they're walking along. They're walking along. And I go, so so where are we where are we gonna go? Um, maybe maybe we can find somewhere. That they, there's kind of a sign. You see a road sign that is says oh where oh there's gonna be a town there's a town up ahead not too far away and if they listen very carefully listen very carefully they can hear cats playing rock and roll that's because they're at they're at this uh, haunted house that's not really a haunted house and they're playing rock and roll music because the other band they're kind of in the four summer anyway the point the point is the pigs are there and, and listen very carefully they can hear kind of rock and roll music they can also hear a creak but anyway they're not really worried about it because they're gonna they're about to go back into town well they'll feel like oh it'll be safe and maybe maybe they'll go get hot chocolate and that's and that's exactly what they do that's exactly what they do um but they're walking along walking along until suddenly oh no they come across uh i guess two dogs and the two dogs um who are uh, fighting the plants? They're fighting the, the the bushes and the trees, and the and the dogs are like, oh, we're gonna fight the trees, we're gonna fight the bushes, and the pig family, they're like, ah, oh, that's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, man. Why? Why are you doing that? That's not that's not normal. So they kind of they kind of avoided them. And, and they got into town. And the fighting dogs, the fighting dogs were like, oh, I'm gonna fight you for us. I'm gonna fight you for us. Man, yeah, you guys are weird. But eventually they got tired. They're like, well, what are we gonna do? We should like go someplace and just like rest because I'm really tired fighting the trees and the bushes and stuff. And also that's kind of dumb. And also, did you realize we're dogs? You know, we're dogs. That's, how, how did that happen? So they kind of walked along in this forest until they found this house that at the end of the at the end of this dirt road. And by the way, it's the haunted house that the band was you know practicing their music in. Even though it's not really a haunted, they're just saying that to keep the kids out. So these wild dogs that were fighting the trees and stuff because they were kind of weird. Um, they were like, "Look, there's a haunted house," and because it's haunted, I bet nobody's in there. And so they kind of went to this haunted house, and they were like, "Oh." What's, what's inside this haunted house? Um, uh, I'm getting kind of scared, but they got lost and they found some stairs and they went down the stairs and then the stairs was a haunted basement. Oh, and it was old and it went down and like the, the floors were all uh, ruined and like all uh, oh, the windows are broken except that it's the basement I don't know why there's windows in the basement I guess there could be windows in the basement I don't know 
and the ceiling had holes in it and the wallpaper was peeling oh that is so weird you know that's so weird yeah i don't know what that's about anyway so so the the the, the weirdo dog people they kind of walked along and they, there are some doors and they looked inside the when they went inside the doors and they looked inside to one of the rooms and they saw music equipment all knocked over and musical instruments like electric guitars and drums and and basses 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 uh like knocked over and then they also saw cats and these cats were like all like passed out because they were tired or something maybe they were rocking out too hard and they were like completely taking a nap totally taking a nap which is totally what cats do like they'll take a nap anywhere i'm serious they will Dogs too. Dogs are like lie down. They just like completely crash out on the floor, which is exactly what these dogs did. They saw these cats. They were like, "Oh, wow! They're completely like asleep." And they looked at each other and they were like, "That's actually a really good idea." So they lay down <laughs> and they went right to sleep. Because you know, whatever happened to them to change them from weirdo people into weirdo dogs gave them like dog personalities and it made them fall asleep. And that's what they did. They fell asleep and they had dog people dreams. And the cats, the cats that fell asleep had cat people dreams. And, and, uh, and somewhere, somewhere out of the basement and out of the haunted house that wasn't a haunted house, uh, was a pig family that were all sitting in a, in a cafe somewhere, and I'm not gonna say the name of the cafe because I don't have the, the licensing rights to say the name of, of the brand, but they're sitting, drinking, they're drinking hot cocoa and feeling kind of sleepy, but also happy too. Yeah, and then uh, and then there was the, the frog dude and the rat dude and the, and the mouse girl, um, and they eventually came back to town and they went in to this cafe and they saw like a pig family they're like what that's there's a pig family but they, they seem really nice and they ordered hot chocolate and they sat down and they had hot chocolate they felt really relaxed and even kind of a little bit sleepy too so so i hope if you made it this far into the story that oh yeah you were asleep now because it's very sleepy and it wasn't spooky, it was sleepy. And maybe you're having uh, uh, dark people dreams. And maybe you're having cat people dreams. And maybe you're having hot cocoa dreams. Are you having hot cocoa dreams? Oh, I bet you are. Actually, I kind of want hot cocoa now. Mm. Mm. So maybe that's what I'll do. Anyway, uh, that is going to be the end of this story. So uh, I hope this was not too spooky. And I hope that you're asleep now. And that is, that is my way of saying good night, good night.